This may look like a lizard crawling along the floor. But hang on, it's upside down. Like Spider-Man, geckos are capable of clinging to the smoothest of surfaces. Yet there's no spider silk behind this superpower. How do geckos defy gravity? There are more than 1,500 types of gecko. That's over a quarter of all the world's lizard species. They live on every continent except Antarctica. This is Harold. He's a New Caledonian, one of the largest gecko species in the world. This guy's awesome. Look at the colors on him. Quite an amazing animal. Gecko expert Robert takes care of him. And while this heavyweight may be slow to start... Come on, Harold. Once he gets going... There we go. It's hard to keep up with him. He's going to come flying right off the top. What's behind this powerful grip? Sticky fingers? Hooked claws? Suction cups? Like Samson, the secret of his strength lies in his strands of hair. Except they're not on his head, they're in ridges on his feet. Look at these crazy toes. You see the ridges, the tire track type ridges real easily on this one. Each little ridge has millions of microscopic hairs called setae. They're made of keratin, like a human hair, but they're only a tenth of the width. Within those are the mechanisms that actually allow it to grip on to this slick plexiglass we have. Each hair has a chronic case of split ends. It splays into a bunch of even smaller spatula-shaped bristles. In fact, small doesn't cover it. They can only be seen through an electron microscope. And with the right orientation, they can bond with any surface at a molecular level. When a gecko puts his foot down, it almost becomes the surface. Pulling him off requires some work sometimes because he's got more ability to cling than he needs. Even upside down, the bond is phenomenally strong. In fact, it's believed a gecko's grip can happily hold up to 20 times its own weight. But if these sticky lizards are the kings of the hangers-on, how do they move at all? As a pool player might say, it's all about getting the angles right. To demonstrate, here's our second star, Spike. Robert's taking him for a spin on a plexiglass wheel to show us his fancy footwork. As we're turning it, we can watch his feet and you can see him readjust because he's got to realign the CETA in a way that maintains his ability to cling to that surface. As the wheel spins, Spike repositions his foot ridges to unlock, then relock at the perfect angle and resist the pull of gravity. What's more, a specialized set of tendons helps him peel off his toes to break the bonds. I've never really rolled geckos in circles like this before to see how they operate. It's very interesting to see it. So the gecko's amazing upside-down antics come courtesy of its truly unique anatomy.